I'm going to create a disk storage pool in Backup Exec 21. Right now we see the two disk storage devices and creating a pool gives a lot of great advantages which I will show you about in just one second. So for now I'm going to click on configure storage and a wizard pops up. I'm going to choose storage pools. Now this only works if you have at least two storage devices. Next, click the storage device pool option, which is the only one. And I'm going to leave the default name of storage device pool, but you can rename it. And then we have the pool type. So the only option here is disk storage. And that's because I only have disk storage as my storage devices. Now I'm going to choose both of my drives. And you can choose more drives if you have more in that list and click finish. So now what I can do is I can assign backup jobs to storage pools. So if one disk storage device fills up, it will automatically move to the other disk storage device. And I can do that by going to my backup and restore, and I'm going to edit my backups. And I've had more than one type of backup, so I'll just choose the synthetic backup that shows up there. And then I'm going to get a new pop-up, and I'm going to click the storage option. So I need to click on edit and then go to storage and then change the storage from any disk storage to my storage pool. So you might notice that it has a specific storage device already specified or just any, but if we choose the pool, then it will use the one storage until it fills up and then it will automatically start using the second storage. And that can be really useful not only when the drive fills up, but if the drive fills up during the middle of a backup job. And then that way it will continue without stopping. And now I can click OK and it's going to use my storage pool.